Hello everybody, and today we're going to be talking about this book, Make Electronics, by Charles Platt. I will provide a link to where you can purchase this book on Amazon below, uh, to this edition, which is the 2009 edition, as well as to the newer edition, which is the 2015 edition, and um, a bunch of other resources that you're going to need whenever you're actually going through the experiments in this book. Now to talk about the experiments, this book is set up where you're doing experiments 1, through 36, so there's 36 experiments, and experiments like 1 through 7 are very basic experiments that somebody uh, in grade school could probably complete, and then as you go more advanced, you're going to certainly be increasing the complexity to the point where if you would do all of the experiments, I would say you probably have more hands-on electrical engineering component placement experience than somebody who has a degree in electrical engineering does. Because whenever you're going through school, you're going more through the theory of how everything works, through all the equations. And this book is, does not focus on that, which can be seen as a good thing or as a bad thing. But since it's a making electronics book, uh, I would probably say that it's a good thing. So whenever you're starting each chapter, it says a list of all the components that you need to buy. So there are kits online where you can get all the components that you need to do like chapter 1 through chapter 11. I will provide all of those in the link below as well. So all of those, those basic components are uh, multimeter, breadboards, soldering irons, things that if you're going to work with electronics, you're going to need. Some of the reviews complain that they're too expensive, but you know that's the price of working with electronic components. And once you have the basic equipment, buying the electronic components themselves, like transistors, diodes, resistors, they're not super expensive. So if you like this book, Make Electronics, or you're looking for something a little bit different, you might want to check out a book called How to Diagnose and Fix Everything Electronic, I think it's called. I have not actually been through that book, but from what I've seen, it's maybe a little more intensive on how to use equipment like oscilloscopes, signal generators, power supplies, and more on how to fix uh, electronic components that you already have, so you're not going to have to go through and build all of these devices. You can read through and learn how to use those or how to fix something that you have that's broken around your house, per se. So that might be another useful resource. I will provide a link to that below as well. And I hope you guys found this helpful. Thanks, guys. See ya.